Hello everyone, Crydax here. Welcome back to our Pure Angels playthrough. In our last episode we got... Well, what did we do? I know we got some red science going for the first time. We also made all this paper. I think that was one of the big things. The Dunder Mifflin project. Um, so yeah, what we're going to have to be doing is working towards a more real base where we actually mine ores, we separately smelt that, that gets sent onto belts, things like that. Because even just getting to the next kind of unlocked things is going to take a lot of research, which is very expensive. And so we will do as much as we can. Uh, we already did... Oh, I guess I'm going to have to do this research real quick. That's going to hold me back from some stuff. Uh, so we'll do that one. I do need some more gray analyzers here. And I have a decent amount of basic data cores. And I don't think I need more. It's hard to tell. I will need basic data cores to go with the red analyzers for quality of life research. And there's a couple other ones that use basic. So I'll still need, I'll still need some basics here. I'll feed some gray boards in. At this point I can just hand feed, but I already have quite a few. And yeah, Maniac Killa, how's it going? We definitely have Bob's inserters enabled. Very helpful. I can't imagine playing without them. I'm just so used to designing things with them in mind. I kind of need them. And let's throw some more cabling and rods in here. Got to keep going with all of the data analyzers. And then I need some more copper cable. So let's grab this. And then let's see, a stack of 200 gets me 100 data analyzers, which is good. Because these actually end up costing another data analyzer. So these are two each, which makes them pretty expensive. And let's throw some grays in there. Okay, so mechanical components are finished. And now we have to do this one. That's the only thing we can do in the whole tech tree. Basic exploration technology. So we got to do that. 32 of each. <clears throat> and because it's both kinds, it'll need to be done in this building. So I need some more gray analyzers here. Let's go ahead. Oh, we ran out of gray boards. I can feed some more in. So we'll just use these. And then we'll get that basic exploration technology done. Yeah, the mining class gives you hand smelting. That is cool. I mean, I can't tell if I would want that or not, but it is cool. I can't argue with that. So, yeah, I think we're just kind of waiting for a few more. We're getting close. Half of it is 60. Oh, yeah, we're good. I think. Maybe. I'll wait for, like, six more. That's got to be enough out of 32 and we're already a third of the way done okay so what we want to work on next is real mining uh and real smelting so that's going to require gosh do i want to deal with burner drills for a while or just jump to electric drills i think i'm willing to jump to electric drills these electronics blocks ones are kind of expensive, but I can build up over time. Oh gosh, I don't want to handcraft stuff though. <clears throat> uh, I need more frames, I guess. You know what I should do is uh, share here. Oh, I need more inserters, holy cow. Quick, grab some gray boards. Um, And if I'm lucky, yeah, the chunk boundary. So inserters will share and take turns if they're in the same chunk. 
I believe is how that works. Or I'm wrong and I'm just remembering that incorrectly, but I think that's how that goes. And so I'll just put a bunch of iron in there. Grab some more. And that way I'll build up some frames that I can grab to have in my inventory. I don't want these grates. And then the copper stuff has been building up nicely. So I'm going to grab just a couple more. I'm just going to grab 50 more servos. I don't think, do I need cabling? I can't remember. What does cabling go into? Oh yeah, it goes into a lot of random things. But mostly just buildings, the logistics buildings. Which I'm not going to be handcrafting for a long time. So I don't think I, and then the energy block one is the other big thing. So, and I can just craft cabling from these. So I'll just grab some cable harnesses. I'll leave the cabling out for now, out of my inventory. Right, so I need more of these. Uh, I'm gonna do 50, 50 of those. And then I need some of the electronics zeros, which are here. Okay, so we can get some of the red electronics blocks. That'll be nice. And then how are we doing on blocks? Pretty good. I think I'm doing okay. And our research is almost done. whoop de doo I will have even more things that I need to construct. And now I can at least craft a few electric miners. Okay, so now we have to decide which one of these we do next. I think we decided we don't need energy, not yet anyway. Huh. I will need all of them to get nanobots, the full mini loaders, construction components to mechanical to, I don't really care about radars, and then my quality of life researchers. So I'll need all of them eventually, but energy I don't care about starting with. This one is important because it gets me fast inserters. It gets me... What is this? Wood pellets from cellulose, apparently. Um, mechanical refining, which is pretty important, and the better smelting, so that's a priority. And then steel... But I need way more resources before I can even build all this stuff. So I think the bigger priority we decided was this one. Oh, we need two things for this. Weird. Uh, so logistics will allow me to... Actually, wow. When do I get the requester chests? Right here. So in the green science tier, I will be able to do logistics with bots, which is nice. Uh, anyway, back to what I was looking at. This one, we unlock fluid control, which is nice. The near, long, and fast inserters. That's the big piece that I care about. Because then I can start actually making uh, more complicated belt stuff. So this is probably the first one I want to do. And I will need more. Uh, what's the difference between mini loaders and compact loaders? I don't exactly know every bit of how that all works. I do know... Here, let's place the amount I need in here. Probably about 30 more. And the rest goes into red. Um, I do know that the mini loaders are very UPS efficient because they actually represent inserters rather than loaders. I think compact loaders are using the vanilla loader functionality, which makes them different in some form or fashion. But I'm pretty sure the consensus is that mini loaders are more UPS efficient, but I could be off on that. I thought that's how it worked. Grab some more coal here. Yep, 
And okay, so we've got three miners. Um, one, two, I have 10 burner drills, so I would need five to even have the same amount of iron. So we're gonna have to make these slowly but surely here. And then what else do these need? Mechanical parts and construction frames. It's actually pretty cheap, except for the E blocks one. I'm gonna call them E block. Well, there's energy blocks. Uh oh, power outage. Where even is my power? I have forgotten. I just ran out of coal. Okay, that's easy to fix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the crawler logistics bots um, transport 100 in their inventory, but they go like 4 kilometers an hour or something. But they're, they're still very nice. Um, there's a pretty big delay, obviously, on the transport, but their throughput ends up being pretty high just because of how many items they carry. So it's not too bad. Okay, so we want to keep making these. There's a few more. Good, good. Good, good, good. As Bolt Viking would say. Good, 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 good. Uh, we need more red circuits. How's solder? Solder's pretty good. It is just... Um, yeah, the copper is the slowdown right now. So I should actually upgrade copper first with miners. So let's be let's begin the mining fiasco. Yeah, there there we go. There's the emojis, the emotes. Um. So that'll be Sapphire. I think I'll do ore processing out here. I don't want to clutter kind of my, my mall area, and then I'll bring the plates back over to the left. So I'll maybe do ore processing out here and expand to the left. Or I could do ore processing out here and expand to the right. Eh, it's all the same. It's all the same, just longer belts depending on which direction you go. Oh, come on, that really doesn't connect to anything. Whatever. Fine. Okay, so that is three per second, which I think is more than I was getting anyway. Or at least close. I also preemptively am going to need some boilers. Oh, geez. And some steam engines here. Because one boiler runs 20 mining drills. So then this will be 40 mining drills, potentially. So well, that's important, and I do need probably about time for a belt of coal. But I'm not quite there. I also am scared I'm... Am I mining enough coal? How much do we get? Five? Five coal a second is 20 megawatts of power, so that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I am curious, um, you know, if anyone here on Twitch already knows, or anyone watching this uh, on YouTube later, if it's not answered immediately. I am curious about mini loaders, if they're still the fastest loader in terms of UPS or not because I I've my memory is telling me five different things at the same time because there's one memory I'm having that seems to be telling me in my head they're not the fastest but they do work with trains which is why a lot of people use mini loaders and then there's another thing in my head saying they are the fastest because they're inserters uh, it's like stalactite and stalagmites. It, I can never remember which one's which, no matter how, because I'm like, I, I feel like in my head, I remember people saying stalagmites are on the ceiling because mites might fall. And then I've also heard stalagmites or stalactites hold tight to the ceiling. And I'm like, wait, one of those is wrong, but I don't remember which one. 
So I almost need a way to remember which one's wrong. Anyway, that was a digression. If I might say so. All right, there we go. Basic logistics. So now we can go back to data cores. Um, wait a second. These can't handle the other data core colors. So I need to make... Oh, there's a different tech lab for each color of data core. Oh my gosh. Of course there is. Sheesh. Um, okay, okay, okay. We're, uh... We're still looking at quite a bit of progress before I can really do this, because I need lots of stone bricks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to focus on this stuff first. So, I'm going to craft some crushers. That's probably going to be enough. They crush pretty fast. I can only do one more of these. I'm out of electronics blocks, I guess. Out of red circuits. Okay. Hey, Archcraft, how's it going? Good to see ya. Uh, we'll throw some more iron in. I'm gonna keep needing a bunch more of these. More iron. Get rid of that. Great. I am doing well. We are having lots of fun trying to figure out how the heck we're gonna make all the new blocks here. Oh my gosh. We've already got a scroll bar on our menu here. Anyway, uh, so these, yeah, a lot more copper is going to be good for this because these are mostly copper. And then these two I'm going to need, which both require stone bricks. And they both require electronics blocks. So we're going to need insane and a copper servo motor. These are so much copper. Also, uh, I'm just going to plug in a few things to Hellmod because I'm tired of not knowing how much certain things cost. Exactly. So we're just going to plug in like a servo motor and then boil it down um, into its pieces here. Wait, what? Oh, that's here. Okay, so there's so one servo motor is 4.8. Oh, I also need to change my rounding settings here. I like to know the proper decimals. There we go, 4.75. Um, okay, and then we also want to look at... What was the other thing I was just looking at? Oh, the electronics blocks. Is that what I was looking at? I think it is. How much copper does one of these puppies actually cost when you boil it down? Because you've got a red circuit, a red circuit board, a resistor, solder, cable harness, this thing, uh, all of the various cables, frame, the girder, the plate, or sorry, grate, the rods. Holy crap, dude. This is nuts. Okay, well, at least we got the numbers, though. So one electronics, electronics, that's four syllables. I need I need a, a shortcut word for that. I'll just call them E-blocks. In alcohol, energy blocks, energy or something. So E-block one takes seven and a half copper, three lead and tin. That adds up six paper, two and a half iron. Wow. Just the total metals cost for these things is so high. Uh, buildings. Oh, did I forget? Oh, sorry. I, yeah, I, uh, that was like invisible to me. I didn't even see that I didn't put this in there. Yeah, this is supposed to be in here too. Because of the gray boards, which then will move up. And uh, those are also paper. There we go. That's better. Okay, so 12 copper per e-block one. So then requiring 
uh, a servo motor and an e-block one then is basically 17 copper just for one of these oh my gosh this is crazy plus a bunch of stone bricks hey just another duchy glad you could catch the stream I'm imagining you're in Europe if it's almost bedtime for you or you're just going to bed very very early um okay so i need crushers i am gonna lead the ore a little bit farther away just so i have some breathing room if there's one thing i've learned it's to have breathing room so then the ore will come up and i'm just gonna use straight inserters for simplicity When do I get non non burner crushers? Okay, we're getting closer there. Ah, the Netherlands. Nice. Okay, so these yellow inserters aren't even technically fast enough. Would two sideways inserters be fast enough? Uh they would, because that's actually gonna add up to three. So maybe I'll just do that. And strangely enough, it's not it's not equivalent. It's actually harder because if I'm only putting it on one side of the belt anyway, I can just do it like that. I don't need splitters. Whereas if I'm trying to send just one in, I would need splitters or I'd need to like zigzag and weave. Because uh, these are only three wide. I could do the underground trick, but I need long inserters to be able to have two. So we'll just leave that the way it is. Um, and then we need some power. Now that does create nine objects per second, though. So... Yeah, there's a couple weirdnesses here. Because the output is greater than the input, we actually need to filter away the stone before we join together the steritite or the crushed steritite. Um, otherwise, the belt will back up, because eventually we're going to want a full belt, of course. So maybe I will... I'll do that. Maybe I will just... Oh, splitters are so expensive, though. So at least for now, I'm actually not going to use splitters. What I'm going to do is have this one come onto this side of the belt. Let's see. That'll be on both sides. This will come on to uh, this side, and then that'll go underground. So that actually will end up being balanced if I seeing that correctly you know in a strange way I will need a single splitter to do stone um, I would actually like that to be over by one so stones just gonna be I don't know out there somewhere for now I put it in a chest And then I also have uh, merging chests, so I don't think I can merge these, though. I can only merge steel chests. So that'll be something I can use with trains later. It can merge a bunch of chests into one. And the reason I'm going to use that over warehouses is because it'll actually have a smaller inventory, which will save me UPS, which sounds weird, but it's true. Okay, so ore stuff and then smelting stuff. So we'll go down a ways before we smelt because you need all sorts of processing later. Um, it's crazy what you do with these crushed ores. So I'm going to go quite a ways away before I smelt anything. And for now, that's still just going to be stone furnaces. And I will need coal. So coal is going to be coming in. I guess I'm maxing out at 7.5 a second here. 
I don't know how fast these go. Crafting speed of one. What's the timing? Timing is seven seconds for two. Seven seconds for two. That's not a nice number. So uh, seven seconds for two means we get two every seven times 7.5. No, I did that wrong. I need 26 smelters? Is that right? Each smelter uses two sevenths per second. So two sevenths times seven. Yeah, that's right. I need 20, 27 smelters f just to do a full half belt. Okay, well, uh, that's a lot of smelters. I maybe I'm going to move this over a bit, given how tall this is going to end up being. Yeah, just another duchy. The merging chests is um, going to be pretty handy. It's the first time I've ever tried it, so I actually haven't tried it yet because I haven't gotten to steal chests, but we'll see. We'll see if it's as useful as I think it will be, I guess. And Bird, what uh, what setup are you referencing being original? Okay, so then we need some amount of coal up here. We will have a belt of coal eventually, but for now, I will hand feed. And then I need a bunch of power poles. Unfortunately, these are such a short range, I need a billion of them. Um, Maniac, do you know why that is? Because, is it just mainly because the people take off the inventory size limit and they end up having huge inventories? Or is there a specific way that merging chests takes extra UPS? Because... I was under the impression it, it doesn't take extra UPS. It, it just turns itself into a container that acts like any other container. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many, many, many times before. Oh yeah, well the way I'm handling this crushed ore is just because I don't want to use a bunch of splitters. It's the main thing. Oh yeah, I need to get coal. I was like, why is this not working? It's not working because it doesn't have fuel. Yeah, we definitely need some more, some more iron here for our belts, belt production. Okay, that's a lot more iron. We need some coal. Oh, a full line with three crushers. I don't feel like that's that unique of an idea, is it? Maybe I'm just so special. But I feel like that's pretty standard, right? You have a belt of ore going past a bunch of crushers. Just with any Factorio thing. I mean, I can always add more onto the end. That's only six per second, so we'll need more eventually, but... All right, uh, coal goes in, and we should get uh, copper plates out if we did everything correctly. And it will be a far, far smaller number. Well, it'll be two thirds. So if I have a half belt in, I can have a half belt out. And then that will just go this way. And at least for now, I'm ignoring the oil. Maybe I, maybe I can be smart. Let's be smart. I'll, I'll remember not to build there. Oh, uh, bird, the reason the lines are full is just because I, I wasn't using it. It just got backed up. 
eventually that once this empties out it won't be full. Although I don't actually have enough furnaces to empty out the line. They're only doing three and a half or a second. So I do need to copy this a bunch more times and do it in two directions. Although I don't want the power poles to be on the other side. So I guess we'll flip it that way. There we go. Oh, I need so many inserters. I need to automate these puppies. And I think I can at least delete. Yeah, I can delete this one. Okay. So that at least gets me almost the 7.5. I'm clearly doing some math wrong. Because I just calculated I needed 25, 27. What, what is, uh, what is the, what did I do wrong? Oh, sorry, it's three sevenths. They use three sevenths, they produce two sevenths. So I needed to multiply 3 sevenths times 7.5. Sorry, I needed to multiply 7 thirds times 7.5. The reason I multiply 7 thirds is because that's how many seconds... Wait, no. Why am I multiplying? Basically, I'm dividing by 3 sevenths. Because I have each building... And each building uses 3 sevenths per second. I have 7.5, and I want to use all that up. So I divide by how much is used per building. And that gets me how many buildings I need. So I'm actually dividing by 3 sevenths like that. That's the same as multiplying by 7 thirds. And then that gets me 17.5. Oh. Um, you know, I looked at that Archcraft... And then I got scared because it hasn't been updated for 14 months. And there were a lot of various... Someone three months ago was talking about something being incorrect. So I haven't tried it yet. I still plan to try it at some point. But I guess Hellmod for now will tell me the raw amounts if I really care. <laughs> it doesn't need to be updated. Okay, I'll try it. Anyway, back to the number. I didn't actually look at it. 17.5. So I only need 18 furnaces, and that's 16. So, it's kind of annoying. I guess we'll just do it one more on the end, like so. And that should be a full half belt of steertite. Giving me a lot more copper. And a full half belt. I need one more crusher. So let's do that. Unfortunately, that's going to mess with this stuff. I guess we just have... Uh, we, we do this. And that gets two on each side of the belt. And then now we need to mine that much, which we're very much not doing. But let me pick up all this stuff. So I can have some more room for miners. That's still hooked up to power. Okay. Well, this feels good. It's like an actual Factorio game that we're playing here. What do you know? It only took 
how many hours we're at. What are we at? Four hours and 53 minutes to build our first chunk of electric miners. And yeah, we get some of those precious inserters back. I should automate those soon. They're not quite as precious as they used to be. Uh, a little bit cheaper now. Okay, so that is 3.6 per second. That's still not enough. I need way more miners here. So, let's see. So, what is the slowdown currently? Slowdown is just the amount of cables. I can pretty easily fix that. Um, I like this to be six, and shoots can be... What can shoots be? I don't know. I, I feel like I already have everything spoken for. Usually filter inserters are shift two, but I don't use filter inserters that much. I probably am going to use shoots more, so I'm going to keep shoots as shift two. And I'll have filter inserters somewhere that I can just click on. In any case, I am just going to get some... Wow, it's going to take me a while to learn where everything is. Get some of these going here. Output rate of two. Jeez. That's two per second. I probably shouldn't do more than that. Um, need to power all that. Craft some more. How many can I craft? I should. There we go. There's the limit. Ran out of servo motors. Okay, and then this one is what I'm gonna use here. We'll uh, ditch this guy. So this one will just be used for the servo motor stuff. Okay, that should be doing a lot better. And now we'll probably get the max rate, whatever that is, half, half per second. It looks like is the max rate. This one actually is up to two per second. These go these go crazy fast, but we're going to be limited by this inserter and its speed. Um, this one is just about right, so that that should be running full time. All right, all right, good stuff, good stuff. Um, I need to get rid of my crushed stone. I need to get rid of my steertite. I need to start smelting bricks. So many things to do. Gosh. I'm going to need lots of chests for this. Okay, I'm just going to feed it these buildings. I don't care. It just gets it out of my inventory. It'll figure itself out eventually. And then we need more miners. I can put one more there. Definitely one more here. Okay. We're up to 4.3. I'm going to call that good enough for now. That's equivalent to 26 burner drills compared to what we had before, which was only 12. So this is more than double what I was getting. I'm happy with that. And I need to keep crafting these. Which means I need to keep feeding red circuits in here. Let's do 80. Actually get it even more. And I need cable harnesses. Let's go grab some more of those. Feed you 100 of them. And then I need more... Uh, electronics blocks which looks like we're out of gray boards for those so we'll feed in most of our gray boards to get the e-block ones which I'll then need to feed into here to upgrade them into or sorry e-block zeros to upgrade them the 
The good news is we have 200 servo motors. I'm just going to take them all. They'll build back up after 15 years or so. Um, we do have poles and we have mechanical parts. Those are all good things. I do need more frames. Which, I'll just feed that all my iron. We've probably built up a bit more. And then I need to grab some coal. I think it's just about time. Once I have maybe six drills, we'll uh, transition to coal being on a belt. And that will be a good feeling. Oh, I need some of my iron to go to belts while I'm thinking about it. And we'll make sure that has enough coal. I'll keep some. I'll go grab my lead and tin, since I haven't done that in a while. This belt is useless now. Do, do, do. Wow, this has been a slow start, but I've enjoyed it. Drop half my coal here. Seems good. Go get a bunch of tin. How's algae? I haven't looked at algae in a while. Seems fine. We're backed up on both things, so guess we're doing okay. And then all the way down to the tin. Nice. Got 700. I forgot to grab the crushed stone over at the lead, but that's okay. Okay. Those still have 128. Uh, data analyzers. Looks like we've still got a little bit of extra. Sixty-one and thirty-one. That is enough. These all cost thirty-two. I'll do the blue one next, I guess. Got to get them all done eventually. Um, I am going to take half of these gray ones back. Make some more reds. Okay. We're starting to do okay. I can feed this thing a go million cables and a bunch of rods. That'll be good. And I can go get more. And then I need to feed that some more iron. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, 14 more should be, yeah, four miners. That's nice. And a bunch of red circuits, a bunch of gray circuits. Why have they stopped? Oh, I'm out of solder. Look at that. Good thing I grabbed all my, uh, oops, no iron for you. Grabbed all my tin. That'll keep running, and I think that's the exact same speed. Yeah, these are all perfectly balanced, as all things should be. All right, that feels good. So we need to do the same thing for iron, and then get coal. No, we're doing coal first. We have eight drills. That should be enough. Well, I don't have concrete yet, but I will have bricks very soon, um, which, you know, have the same patterns for name redemption. Got to redeem those. What am I even calling them? K coins or something weird. I need a better name for my channel points. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Two, 
I'm gonna go this way. Uh, I did do K coins at one point. I didn't like the look of that. Um, I thought about... I, I've tried all sorts of stuff. I can't really decide. I should probably hook these up to power, shouldn't I? Crydax Knight. That sounds a little bit like a mouthful. Um, you know, I could do... Cry Tonight. I feel like Cry Tonight would be the most... Because it's kind of like Kryptonite, but, you know, Crydax. I don't know. Um, but then it's kind of weird. Uh, like, I would need a different icon for it. You know, it would need to look like an ore of some sort. With my colors, the kind of teal and yellow colors could be like an ore that's teal and yellow. And then I call that Cry Tonight or something. Who knows? Um, so we're going to output priority left. So that goes to fuel. And then this is going to go up to all the smelting area, which I do not have enough belts for. How's it going, Alec? You welcome on in. Good to see you. Well, have some good sleep. Crydax or I that that uh, is technically a name. You know, you're not wrong. That that would be a name. Uh, yeah, we'll just go across. All right. There you have it. Coal. Now, unfortunately, I need to get rid of all this, so... For now, we'll just do that. I'll have one stack on me. Okay. That's set up. Coal is set up. So I don't have to hand feed that anymore. That feels great. So next on the list is iron improvements. Oh gosh. Let's not handcraft a bunch of frames. What do you got for me? Th only three. That's a bummer. I guess the problem is this is too slow. 0.5 of each. Maybe it's just the burner drills are too slow. Because that makes one. Oh, it's probably the rods. Because a grate is two rods already. A girder is a rod. So that's half a rod and two rods. So to make one of these per second, I would need 2.5 rods a second. Yeah, I need a separate rod maker. Well, shoot. I guess I'll just have another chest. And I'll build them both. I don't like that. Can I figure out how to be smarter? Probably, but not with this shape. Because I need three... Three buildings taking from the chest instead of one. Uh, once I have long in... Well, I do have long inserters. I can do that, and this can be the great maker, and this could be another rod maker. Um, that could go... Well, that can't go down. I have packed everything in pretty tightly here. Um, this is kind of funny how this works, I guess. This one can actually be like so. Uh, that'll work. And then 
this can move down. And then we'd like to feed diagonal to both, right? Because it's a one, it's two per second input. So yeah, we need diagonal to both. And then I can use a long inserter uh, for this one. Long inserters are faster than yellows. You know, I think I forgot that. It's been so long since I've used a vanilla long inserter. Forgot, they're between the slow and fast inserters. Okay, so that should speed this rate up pretty significantly. And then once this backs up, obviously that will help too, because half of them are going to storage right now. Yeah, okay, now we're getting the full rate, it looks like. Which is what we want. Wait, how's that possible? Oh, because half of 2.5 is 1.25. And I have 2 per second. That all makes sense. I just didn't do the math correctly. Uh, anyway, how many can I make now? Uh, a few more with some handcrafting. I'm just going to give it everything I have. And take what doesn't balance out. So like I have a few extra harnesses there. And I need more red circuits, which thankfully we have quite a few now. Those are building up quickly. So I can easily feed a bunch of these things. The problem is each of these individually can take, um, well, that's weird. Electronics, or sorry, elect yeah, E-block zero crafts faster. Oh, because these are all block ones. So I guess block ones have a certain crafting rate, which is 2.5 seconds, but these are E0s. So they craft in one second, which is faster. That's cool, I guess. All right. Um, nope. What am I doing? Why can't I build these? Oh, I need to pick up the E block ones. There we go. And I need five, uh, 10 frames a piece for the miners. Yeah, there we go. So do I don't want to build this until I have enough uh, buildings and belts to get all the way over there. Otherwise, I'll end up running out of iron. The last thing I want is an iron stall out. Looks like we're doing pretty good on, on all this stuff, so... We've got enough belts to get over there, enough inserters, enough power poles. Nice. Okay, so I can deconstruct all this. And begin real sapphirite mining. Uh-oh. Crushed stone overload. crap. We have a lot of crushed stone. Ooh, baby. Look at that. We were almost full. Um, that's a lot. I did not know I had that much. We're already at over 10,000 crushed stone. Starting to remind me of my Angel Bob's Omni playthrough. Hey, Brandon. How's it going? Glad to hear I could inspire. I've actually, that's been a comment multiple people have left on YouTube as well. They were like, oh, I want to do that. So, apparently it's been a popular idea. Well, I built this just in the wrong spot, didn't I? We're going to have to move our power a little bit. Which is not a bad idea anyway. So let's just get this out of the way here. I'm very glad uh, 
the what, what the heck are they called? The offshore drills don't require power. If they did, I would have just broken my base. But they don't, so we should be okay. We just have to hook up the water here. And manually feed a little bit of coal. Uh, bird, crushed stone is used to make regular stone. So you cannot mine regular stone in Angel Bob's. It's not one of the ores that you can get. So if you look on the map, the only ores that exist are these six and coal. So I guess there's seven ores, and that's all you get. Wow, there's a lot of steertite over there, apparently. Oh, uh, it's revealed all the ores around me. Well, oh well, we would have gotten there with radars eventually. Um, when I turned on reveal ores, I thought it would more just reveal the ores that were right that were partially revealed, not like reveal ores that were hidden on the map. Mouse over construction. That sounds a little bit like what I already have, which is the uh, picker extended mod. Yeah, I kind of already have that where I just wave, I wave the mouse over it and it automatically builds it. That is quite nice. I would agree. All right, then this is gonna come up to be processed in the same way. I'm even gonna move it a little bit higher. Ooh, so many inserters needed. Power poles. All right. Change the recipe. Connect it up. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to hand feed these for a while, but how long does a stack of coal run? I mean, they run 40 seconds a piece. 40 times 200 is a big number. That's 8,000 seconds. So th this will run for two hours without me refilling it. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, so then I need to copy this. And we're going to leave a ton of space here because uh, later we're going to do the metallurgy stuff and you need a lot more space for that, so... We'll do a metallurgy there, and then iron. <laughs> Excuse me. Iron will come over. Um, do I like that? Yeah, that's fine. We can always build across the... We'll kind of have a bus of various metals coming back in here. And at this point, I think it will look better to have these not be the undergrounds. You know, I used picker mods when I played Space Exploration, so either that's a new thing that's incompatible, or I used a mod that said it was incompatible and it's actually fine, because at least I don't remember not using it. I'm pretty sure I used it. More inserters. Oh, it's so easy to craft them now. Just mere hours ago, I needed a screen full of handcrafting to get these things. Alright, we need some ore. The coal is kind of interesting here. I don't know if I like this shape. I think I want the coal running um, underneath the ores, like this. All 
and then that'll come back up and or what did I do? Something like that. And I'm gonna leave two two belts for each ore type. So in the future I can have a second belt of steer type if I need it. So that'll be sapphirite. Right there. Let's connect up power here. Oh my gosh, I always forget to build power poles. Is there an option for turning off? Maybe there's an option for it. Settings, interface. There's so many options these days. Uh, what I want is show. Maybe it's not an option. I want to not show the power for ghosts. And I feel like that is an option, but I didn't see it in that quick scan of things. Because not showing the power outlines for ghosts would actually help me a lot to not miss building these things. All right, in any case, we come down here, over here, and we need stone management. Okay, that should do it, hook that up. And we need a little shoot. What's funny about shoots is they technically say the belt speed is 3.75 items, but for input, you'll notice that they can take a full belt. Like we'll let this back up a little bit and then we'll build the belt and you'll see that it all just flows in with no delay. Maybe tiny, tiny delays here and there. Um, the reason for that is because the inserters can grab from it before it has a chance to slow down. And I think that's actually a little bit of a bug that should be changed, but it's just the way it is for now. I try not to take advantage of it too much, but sometimes you can't help it. All right, we'll get rid of our two crushed sapphirite, and I think that is the perfect place to call it a YouTube episode because we have smelting arrays for iron and copper, and that's kind of something that feels like um, something you do in the first 20 minutes of a normal factorial game. So, for those of you on YouTube, as always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.